Hi guys, what's up? As Jalen would say, I'm wearing my Princess Bea buns today. I was gonna wash my hair today, but I washed my hair yesterday. So I was like, I'm just gonna put it up in these two things because I don't wanna wash it. When you have curly hair, it's not good to wash your hair every day. I think with any hair type, really. It's currently Tuesday, January 11th, and it's 1.37 p.m. right now. I don't think I've ever worn this sweatshirt, but I'm wearing my Frank Ocean sweatshirt, which I'm obsessed with. Frank Ocean's like my number one favorite artist ever. I was so sad because he was finally going to perform somewhere and it was going to be Coachella. Was it 2020? And then it obviously got canceled because of COVID. I wonder if he's going to be performing at Coachella this year because that would be amazing. I was so excited for Coachella 2020 because Frank Ocean like never really performs. And when he does perform, I feel like he cancels a lot because apparently like he has really bad anxiety. Same. I was like, this is my moment to see him in person for the first time. He's everything to me. Actually, the same company that we got those pictures downstairs from Nishida Crow. Roma, those pictures. He actually makes clothing as well and I was like, I need that. I also want to show you guys this because I was so sad. Yes, I know I need to still take this Christmas tree down, but I ordered a planner online. If you guys watched the last vlog, I went to Staples and Target and they had nothing. Everything was sold out. So I ordered this planner from Blue Sky. Look at it. It came all like busted. Like I can barely open it. I can't even really like turn the pages because this thing is like all messed up. It keeps ripping the pages which sucks they refunded me but I need to reorder a new one I've just been using that one in the meantime and it is literally falling apart <laughs> the house also feels so clean because Vicky our cleaning lady just came over and cleaned everything so it feels so fresh and clean I love it I definitely need some caffeine right now because whenever it hits like 2 p.m. I'm like getting tired so let's get some caffeine in our system I actually got these new energy drinks and I really want to try them with you guys so I feel like we should just try them all like guys, I have so many. I have so many of them. I can only fit these ones in my refrigerator because it was getting super full. I got all my babies here. When I was bringing these over to the table, I literally dropped this one, so I'm so scared to open it. Like you can see, I literally go me. So the flavors that we're gonna be trying are kiwi strawberry, pina colada, guava paradise, passion fruit, and this one I'm so excited to try. This is peach candy rings, and guys, look at that. Like, you know those bomb peach candy rings? Yeah. This in an energy drink form. I'm so excited. Also, the packaging on these are 100 out of 10. They are so cool. I wish you could feel it because it has like a 3D texture on the cans. I don't know if that makes sense, but it feels cool. You guys know I love me some energy drinks. So yeah, these ones are called the Oxy Shred Ultra Energy. Very excited to try it. Also says zero calories, zero sugar. It's natural flavor, natural colors, and no aspirin. Team. I can't pronounce that. So let's do the taste test. We're gonna be trying kiwi strawberry first. This is the one I dropped, so let's see if it freaking explodes on me. Please no. We're good. <laughs> How does this not have sugar in it? What? Okay, this one tastes really refreshing. I'm like so surprised it has no sugar in it because it is way too good. Pina colada. Oh. Wait, this definitely tastes like a straight up pina colada. I'm a fan. Also says on here, energy to burn. So it has L-carnitine and smart caffeine in it, which pretty much helps with like clean, smooth energy throughout the day at any time. Passion fruit next. Okay, these all so far are so refreshing. Oh my goodness. Also with these, it says you'll have zero crash because it has vitamin C and full vitamin B in it. So love that. We'll test that out and see. And fresh focus. So it has taurine and tyrosine. Sorry if I don't pronounce that right. Um, And it says good vibes, delicious and refreshing. Cheers. Guava paradise. This one's super sweet, whoa, but not like overwhelming. I do like how these aren't like super sparkling, if that makes sense. Like it's not like overpowering. Now I save this one for last because I'm so excited for this one. This one's peach candy rings. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my God. It literally tastes like it, but in energy drink form. So if I had to rate all of these, I rate kiwi strawberry number one, and then pina colada, peach candy rings, passion fruit, and then guava paradise. Okay, I wonder how much caffeine I just drank. From what I can tell so far, I'll update you guys later in the vlog when I drink more of these, but so far I don't feel very jittery at all, which is very important to me because I hate drinking like coffee and then I just feel like not good. And I also need to edit after this, so I'm curious to see how the 
fresh focus part works. You guys were probably like in the title being like Tesla giveaway. Well, OxyShred is actually having a Tesla giveaway. They're giving away a freaking Tesla. When they told me this, I was like, I wanna enter. So I wanted to share this with you guys because hello, free Tesla. So all you have to do to enter is buy a case of the OxyShred Ultra Energy. I definitely recommend Kiwi Strawberry and Pina Colada. If you guys order any of these, definitely use my code Saray10 at checkout because you'll get a discount. And then all you have to do is post a selfie with the Oxy Shred Ultra Energy. You just post on your story and tag Oxy Shred Energy and then you're entered. Also make sure that you follow them and then you're entered to win a freaking Tesla. Isn't that insane? When they told me this, I was like, come again? So yeah, I'm pretty much sold on these. These are really good. I'm gonna drink the rest of the Kiwi Strawberry and we'll see how I feel in a little bit. I went grocery shopping yesterday and I got this, which I'm super excited about. My friend Tara, she always gets these and I never saw them at the grocery store. They were always sold out. And you know how like you get guacamole and then open it and then literally the day after it turns brown? Well, apparently this one lasts 14 days and it's like airlock. So I don't know, I had to share this because I love guacamole but hate getting it because it lasts like two seconds. So very excited for this. <laughs> Super random, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. I was gonna have chips, we literally have crumbs left. I forgot to grab more chips at the grocery store yesterday, but dang it. Can I just like, look it. I'm just craving some guac right now. It's so good. I wish I had more chip. Literally the pieces are like this big. <laughs> I am making uh, chipotle bowls tonight, so I can have guac during then. I got a package from Sephora. It's literally been sitting here for the past like week because I was like, I can't use anything or open it until I do a haul. If you vlog, you know, you know. <laughs> but I got a whole bunch of skincare stuff because I'm really trying to work on my skin and my um, acne and my hyperpigmentation and my acne scars. So I got a whole bunch of stuff that you guys recommended to me and I saw this stuff on TikTok from a lot of dermatologists. I'll do a quick little haul. First, needed a vitamin C serum. I wanted to get one of these to like brighten my face and apparently it helps with like acne scarring, does it? Am I losing it? I feel like I'm gonna have so many steps to my skincare routine. I also do want your guys' opinion. I don't know if I'm using these wrong. I feel like I'm a newbie and I learn something new every day with skincare and I just feel like I'm doing it wrong. First thing that I got was the Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum. I've heard really great things about this one. It looks like this. I then got the Inky List Trinexamic Acid. It's a night treatment. Apparently this is like very, very good for hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. So I was like, sold. Um, It looks like this. Then I got the Ordinary. Why did I get two of these? I don't know why I got two different azelaic acids. <laughs> the way I say that. So I got the Ordinary Azelaic Acid. I'm probably butchering that name. It looks like this. And then I also got the Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid booster with licorice and salicylic acid. Holy shit, I can't say these names. I got the same thing but two different brands. Maybe I couldn't make up my mind. Then I got the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and it has zinc 1% in it. This is a serum. Apparently this helps with... What do you help with? It's, it regulates sebum, which is like under pimples, I think, and minimizes pores. And then I also got a travel size Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. It literally is so cute. So, hear me out. I need help. So I was doing a whole bunch of research about skincare. Some of you guys probably know more than I do, and I just want freaking clear skin, my acne scarring to go away, and my hyperpigmentation. Those are like my main concerns. My skin is like a bitch. I've been dealing with this for as long as I can remember. I do have a picking problem, which I'm trying to get better at. That's why I, I always get pimple patches, so it stops me from picking. But I want your guys' opinion on this skincare routine that I'm starting. I don't know if it's too many active ingredients that I'm using. I wrote down the order of these. Please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong or if I need to, like, not use a certain thing. Because I know in the morning time versus nighttime, you're supposed to use, like, different order of product. So for my new skincare routine, I was thinking, first thing that I would be using is the CeraVe Acne foaming cream cleanser. It has benzo, benzoyl peroxide in it. Um, I've been using this one forever and I love it. So this, this would be my cleanser. Then in the morning time, I would put on my Summer Fridays uh, vitamin C serum. Then my azelaic acid on after. Then my niacinamide. Then I would moisturize. I go between like the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and this one that I just started, which is the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk 
moisturizer and then of course I would SPF which I use the Hero Cosmetics Super Light Sunscreen SPF 30 and I like how this has zinc oxide in it. My dermatologist told me to get an SPF that has zinc oxide in it so this has 17%. So that's what my skincare routine would be in the morning time. For nighttime, I would use the cleanser and then my azelaic acid, then the inky list tranexamic acid and then lastly my moisturizer so please let me know if I'm doing this right or if I need to change something and if I'm using too many active ingredients I just need help I need your guys's tips because my skin is not thriving so yeah let me know please okay now I can actually use these products and put them away finally also I'll link all these products down below if you guys want to try any of them out yeah I've heard really good things about all of them so I will link them for you Got you. Also, update on the Oxy Shred. I drank like half of it so far and I don't feel jittery. Thank goodness because we hate that. The UPS truck just uh, stopped in front of my house and I got excited and then he just left. That was very sad. I got excited and then he left. <laughs> I'm like looking out my window. <laughs> so yeah, I'm currently just waiting for Jalen to get back home. He's out work. Well, um, in office today. He's not home today. I just posted an Instagram picture. My hair yesterday was popping. Um, I'll include the picture right here. But let me know if you guys want me to do an updated curly hair routine because my hair has been growing so much. So let me know because my hair routine has changed and... The curls have been thriving. I also think it's because uh, during that break of me not vlogging or filming, I didn't straighten my hair or use any heat. It was literally just vibing. It was just natural vibing. So my curls were like, thank you, we can breathe. Okay, so I'm on Instagram. My phone is listening to me. Does that ever happen to you guys? I feel like this always happens to people. Like you start talking about something and your phone's listening and then you, like ads keep popping up. It's so creepy. Like who's listening to me? The government? No, but for real. It's weird. Look who just got home from work. How was work? Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> uh, it was good. It was yeah. chill. You know. Zach, our editor, he edits all the vlogs. Hi, Zach. <laughs> he sent us Zachary a- Kong. Zachary Khan. He sent us a Christmas gift and it's kind of late because I totally forgot to open it um yeah rude early christmas present for this year though yes <laughs> Okay, so I literally thought I was recording. Um, we even opened the top part, but we haven't seen what's inside of it, so thank God. Um, yeah, okay, go me. Ooh, Google Store. Oh, I see the G. <laughs> the G. The G. Ooh, oh my nice. God. This is, oh my God. Zach. Okay, Zach, I you see you. You off. I see you, good Oh looks. my God, this is the Google Nest Hub and you can like play, I think I've seen this before. You can play like music, it shows you the weather, the time. Um, it's like the uh, Alexa for Google, right? Yeah. yeah. Home control, communicate. This is so cool. Oh my God, thank mm. you. This is gonna be so nice for, we'll help me put this in our room, like on the nightstand. Yeah. This is so nice. Thank you so much, Zach. Oh my God. Hey. Everyone leave a nice comment for Zach. Yeah. Yep, wake up to music. Oh, we'll probably be waking up to like Frank Ocean or Gibeon. Your, your best and latest shots from Google Photos. Ask Google to set reminders, find recipes. Oh, this and then is you so can do cool. the. Okay, wow, thank you so I much, Zach. Zach. Oh my God. Thanks, man. Woo! Okay, it's a little bit later. It's 4 56 p.m. right now. And I'm currently making our Chipotle bowls. This is what it looks like. We got the chicken, the black beans, and coconut jasmine rice. You guys already know, my favorite. Then we're gonna add some salsa, guac, sour sour cream, some cheese. I'm gonna add lettuce, but Jalen doesn't like lettuce, so his is without. I also learned this thing on TikTok that if you put your like produce, like cilantro or rosemary or something in a glass filled with water, and then you put this on top of it in the refrigerator, it lasts way longer, so that's what I've been doing, and it's been working great. Okay, here is my finished chipotle bowl. I got chicken, rice, black beans, um, my guac that looks like a little turd, some lettuce, sour cream, and salt. Also, looks so good. Jalen just mixed all of his up. Let's get a reaction. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello vlog, what is up? It's 2.13 p.m. right now. Jalen and I are going to Taco Bell right now because apparently they came out with chicken wings, which sounds interesting. We wanna try them because they're only available for a week, so we're like, let's do it. Also, um, yes, I know these pieces of hair are like super curly. I like curled it and it won't freaking get it together. So hopefully they fall down a little bit, but 
that's what we're doing right now i'm so freaking excited i heard that they use the seasoning the same seasoning as the nacho fries on the wings so yeah very excited let's see if jalen stutters <laughs> i always do the cheesy fiesta the cheesy fajita okay sorry the cheesy yeah. fiesta potatoes i hope they're not sold out can i help you today hi how are you doing today i'm good how about you good thank you can i get a order of the crispy chicken wings and then can we get extra spicy ranch on the side okay we got all the food we got all the sauces the fire sauce is the best you want asmr on the doors zach asmr oh my god guys i literally look like a pumpkin oh. okay so this is what the wings packaging looks like okay so this is what the wings look like huh? let me take a picture they look like some wings you get from like pizza hut you know yeah so this is like an up close of the wings they look very, <laughs> they look very crunchy. And this is what the spicy ranch looks like. It's a little washed out. <laughs> Thank you. Spicy oh, it's hot ranch. In here. If you haven't had spicy ranch, it yeah, is fire. Yeah. Like when they had the nacho fries, I, I would the substitute fries. the cheese for the uh, spicy ranch. Undefeated, ten out of ten. So good. They need to bring that back so I can. Uh, I know. I saw a TikTok ready. comment where it was like, they're literally. What is the comment? It was like they're doing everything they can to not bring back the nacho fries, which is so true. Like bring them. Yeah. Like everyone loved those. Yeah. Like, like they were they were go to. Like I would literally get my order and then I'd get a side of yeah. that because it would just be they were so yummy. perfect for late night. Um, do you guys like chicken wings? Like the is this called drumstick? That's the drumstick. The drumstick and that's like a flat top. Or the flat, yeah. Yeah, I only love drumstick ones. What do you like? Flat? I like them both to be honest. I feel like whenever I got wings it always was both, so then I just like did it. There's only certain people I was with that was like, Can I get all flats? Like I just like mixture. Yeah, there's no like sauce on it, so this will be interesting. Mm. Okay. Oh, these are pretty good. They're not bad I like at how all. crunchy they are. Yeah. The crunch is amazing. Okay, I could get down with these. Oh, also on the website there's a sodium warning on these. <laughs> so be careful. No, they're pretty good. I'm also weren't they saying on um like where do they get these wings? Because there's like a <laughs> wing shortage. So yeah. like, is it chicken? These are pretty good. Yeah, these are fire. Mm-hmm. I like the kick from the season and the spicy ranch, and it's just it's a good combo. And the chicken's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. It's not like super like, fatty. I would definitely take like these wings over like mm. a pizza place wings. Like oh yeah, Domino's. Domino's pizza wings Hut, are like, so yeah. like fatty. But if you don't finish your wings and they don't look like that, then you ain't finishing. Look like, at mine. Yeah, her. <laughs> So you got this right here, and then you got hers right here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like getting too close to the bone. Oh, kind of freaks it. me out. What do you rate them? I'll give them a 8 out of 10. I'll give them a 9. Go off, Taco Bell. Look at that. That's like straight meat <laughs> right there. I guess you can't really see. That would be uh, so right good. in the middle. I was watching Steph Pappas' video of her trying these, and I feel like it'd be such a good idea to make these like chicken bites and put in like a wrap, like a tortilla mm. wrap. Kind of like the McDonald's snack wraps. Oh my god, I actually really like these. We got like a little taco wrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so rude, guys. I almost forgot you guys. I just ran to the car to get you. Right now, we're looking at cars because Jalen and I currently share my car. We didn't really need another car, but now that he's going to be going to the office more, we need another car. So, right now, we're at Mazda looking at cars. Okay, this is the first one. This is the Mazda CX9. He has the hood up because he was showing us it, but this is what it looks like. It literally looks like my Range Rover, but it's a Mazda. And then this is the inside. This is what the back uh, looks warmers. like. And then this is the trunk, which is not yeah, very yeah, big, but you can put so, that down. So far, go camping maybe, mm -hmm. things of that nature. You know, you're gonna have this trunk space. You're still gonna have four seats in the front. Okay. I'm not a super big fan of the brown right here. Yeah, I think this is like a dark, dark brown. I'd rather have like white or black, but this is giving me flashbacks because my first car was a Mazda 3. This is a Mazda CX-9 and it's a lot bigger. 